Hey, welcome back to Team Hotel TV, to the week one predictions for the second half. And we'll have the first game is Cowboys Raiders, and that's at 2.30. Game yeah, of the week? So, mm, game, uh, of the week? game of the week? Game of the week. Game of the week? Yeah, I guess this would be the game of the week for sure. Um, let's see, I, I came in the league with me and uh, Buddy came in the league with the Packers in 2008. And since that time, there have only been three Urban Bowl winners, right? Three Urban Bowl winners. We had the Eagles, Skins, and the, and the Raiders are the only three guys that have won Urban Bowls. Out of the 10 years that we've had Urban Bowls, there's only been five Urban Bowl winners. Besides the big three, you had the Broncos and Patriots the first couple years. And uh, I'm going to put it out there to the league. Do not let these three win another Urban Bowl, all right? Bring your A game. If you play... Redskins are down to Cowboys, but any one of these three, every weekend, week out, you got to take these guys down, playing hard, watch war tape, and get on these dudes. Another thing that's another fact, no team has ever won three Urban Bowls in a row ever in mm -hmm. our league, ever. So the Raiders are now right in two. All this talk about three, Pete, throw it out the window. You're not winning another Urban Bowl as long as uh, the team Mattel is around. There's no way it's happening. I think this is going to be a great game. It is going to be the game of the week. I think the boys come out on top week one, and they're going to beat the Raiders 26 to 25. Mm. Mm. Nice call. Well, last year I never went against my team. This year I don't plan on doing it either. So, of course, I got my boys winning this one in a close one, 27-25. I think both teams are talented, but I think my guys are going to come down and I'll pull it off at the end. Uh, we are really good at closing games out, and um, I think we would do that this year. I know the um, Raiders are um, really good. I heard about their quarterback, Smoke. He's supposed to be really talented, but I don't think that um, he's not um, ready for Tim Mattel. Um, yeah, I think he still got his high school football mindset. So I got us winning this one, the fact that we have more experienced players, and uh, we're going to come away with this one in a close one. Yeah, I mean, uh, both teams have rookie quarterbacks coming in this year, uh, you know, to fill in some big shoes from last year. I mean, last year's Urban Bowl was – you know, uh, remarkable. Uh, and I think this game uh, will be exciting at some points as well. Uh, but uh, but in this game, I mean, you got the Raiders, you know, they're, they're bringing in smoke, you know, like you said, he's a rookie. Uh, then they got the twins, the twins, the two twins, yeah. Tweedle D, Tweedle Yeah, Tweedle Dunk. Do, Tweedle Dunk. Uh, Tweedle Do, Tweedle Do, I think. Tweedle Do, what? Talk, yeah. Tweedle Do, Do? Tweedle Do, what? one of them, yeah. yeah. So then you also got, you know, you got Jock coming. I think Jock's going to be a problem at the yeah. soccer position. And then you got, uh, you know, maybe this year's, he's calling himself this year's MVP of the league, Jeff. Okay. Uh, who says he's going to make a statement. So, uh, I mean, they got a lot of shoes to fill over in the Raiders. I mean, I don't know if they can all do it in one year, but one thing that I do know is that the Cowboys have the best quarterback in the league mm -hmm. by far this year. Mm -hmm. Now, yo, he's the best quarterback in the league. I mean, if you guys haven't seen it yet, what is it, Keon? Yeah. Yeah, Keon is yeah. spectacular. Mm -hmm. I, I like top notch. I, right now, I'd have to rank him number one out of all the quarterbacks coming in this year. I think he is going to take the quarterback position to the next level. Wow. Yeah, I mean, his, his arm is amazing, and his accuracy, I mean, it's going to be real easy to score points with the talent that he has on that team. Uh, Dion, uh, Dion is coming back, and you got Reggie, uh, but I don't think, you know, they're going to play a big role uh, like yeah. this quarterback is. I think he's just going to be able to they're just dissect. Role players, yeah. yeah, they're just kind of role players. They're just kind of sit out. I think they've improved from yeah. them. Like, they counted on them last year. Now they got other guys like yeah. Leroy that's willing to step up and sight. Yeah. So in this game, I got the Cowboys coming for revenge, and I got them winning – 45 to 13 wow. in the blowout. That's, that's impressive. That's and, it. Wait, and you I, see his arm. I'm telling you, yeah. this guy's the best quarterback in the league. Yeah. And I have to say that both teams, you know, it's an Urban Bowl rematch, but I think both teams are much better than they were last year. Much better. Mm. I, I, I'm highly impressed with them. So let's go to that next, mm. that next 4 o'clock game, and that's the Vikings versus the Packers. Well, one clarification real quick. They're no longer the Packers, I'm told, but they're now they're the Pac-9. Yeah, so right. the 49ers right. and the Packers formulate one super team. And I'm saying it right now, they're the best team in the league by far. You have the, the, the Packers' stingy defense married to the 49ers' high-powered offense. And when you put those two things together, you're going to see a lot of blowouts. And in fact, I think the Vikes, I mean, I think they're going to miss some of their big key players that, they, that left. They're going to, you're just going to see it. And they're not going to be as good this year. I have the Pac-9 winning 49-13 to 13 in honor of the so beloved 49ers that used to be with us. This is going to put up 49 points, and they're going to sit everybody down and not score anymore. 49-13, pack nine. Okay, wow. that is that was an impressive score you just put up, <laughs> and um, that was also a heck of a story you patched up together too. A uh, heck of a defense, a heck of an offense. That was all cute and all. Mm -hmm. The problem is that they don't have Felix throwing the ball, which was don't the, the main Shane. reason why they had a high-powered offense. I don't think Shane is nowhere mm -hmm. near Felix, and I think the fact that the 49ers are the Packers, 
joined together. I don't think that they, they know exactly what their identity is and they have yet to gel. So I'm gonna take the Vikings in this one, 35-21. Um, the fact that most is, um, he looks good. He looked good last year, he looked good this year. And he had most of his players coming back and um, they look good this year. They got a pretty good core. Stingy defense they do have. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I, I, the Vikings are definitely missing some key components last year. I think Pedro and Gio was what drove that team last year. Uh, but they still got, you know, the number one uh, receiver in the league last year, Shamid. And Moses coming in, you know, on another year. Uh, well, the only problem with Moses, I think his, his focus now is handball. I think that's what he's been doing <laughs> lately. Uh, and he hasn't been showing up to practice, going late. Like, he thinks he's really going to make it professionally in wow. handball. Uh, and I don't even know if you can do that. Is it handball yeah, professional yeah, sport? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Sad choice. I mean, yeah. he, he pushes the ball when he throws yeah. it. So what makes him going to Is there a high it? requirement in the, the, in the handball? handball I don't know. I know. They hit it up here. He doesn't have a shot. Yeah. Yeah. He's got permission stuff in all He's got Shamid picking him up. Okay, yeah, you're right. You're right. Maybe he's Shami's playing doubles with Shamid, I guess. The Packers this year, I mean, it's going to be a team we're going to look and see. I think uh, they have the potential to be a great team in this league, no but they have to put it together. Uh, you know, I think they're still trying to figure out some positions. I don't know if the quarterback position is unlocked yet. Uh, we got mm -hmm. some competition Cock coming in. But, uh, but we'll see coming in this next week, uh, you know, where each team stands. I think it's going to be a good tough for each team. Whichever team that's going to be elite this year has to win this game. So it's going to be a tough test for each one. I got the Packers edging this out. The Vikings and Packers are always a close game. I got us winning 27 26. Come down to an extra point? That's right. Who well, throws it? Shane or Frank? Shane. Well, okay. You know what? The only problem I have with that, you know, your, your quarterback, I think he's an old man in a wheelchair. <laughs> I mean, he's not mobile at all. So you, you're going to have He's accurate, though. Yeah, you're going to have He's accurate and he sees the field. He, yeah, he's, he sees he's, the and field. A big, That's what and you a, need. And he's a big boy. Yes. He's a big boy. So he, he's accurate. He'll get it. But, uh, Dante Dante Culpepper. He's Dante <laughs> Culpepper. Yeah, but, but if, he, if he has to take off scrambling, it's a sack. He don't need to. He gets the ball right. quick. So, Smart guy. Smart. Yeah, he is very smart. Yeah. I give that Can to him. Can we get this guy but a he's tissue a, or something? He's, he is glistening <laughs> over here. And is that are you okay? Are you, you know okay? what? You? you know what? I'm just so hyped to be next to what I'm looking at future Hall of Fame coaches. All right. So I'm a little hyped about it. So can, can you make the Hall of Fame as a coach if you don't win the Urban Hall? <laughs> wow. That's impressive. That's hey. impressive. Well, I mean, Leo, you haven't won one yet? I won one. No, not as a coach. As a coach, definitely. Not as a coach. Assistant. 2011. Assistant. Right. So we'll quit, we'll quit, the, right. quit the bickering and go to the last <laughs> four o'clock game, which is the Cardinals versus the Seahawks. Chris, what well, do you got in here? Like I said, I think the Ravens are going to be one of the most Im Im improved offenses, really. But I think that the Seahawks are going to be the most improved defense. I think they're going to be a stout defense this year. I think overall they're going to be a real good. I think uh, bringing on Taekwon was a good move by Jesse. I think they're going to be a, uh, a good, I mean, they got like the tallest team ever in the history. Yeah. And, and if, if they can learn to not just run the ball every freaking time and actually throw the ball up to these seven footers, they'll actually win a lot. And so I think the cards are gonna be good. I think they're, they're but I think the Seahawks are just gonna be too much. I think Seahawks take this one 20 to 12. Yeah, um, I'm going the opposite way in this one. I got the Cardinals winning this one 30 to 18. I think it's gonna come down to quarterback play and I believe the Cardinals have a better quarterback. Um, the Seahawks can be a really dangerous team if they know how to um, work those seven footers. I mean, they have, need to stop running the ball. They're running back thing. This is a contact league trying to run everybody over. Just flag football, take it down a notch. Um, and I got to disagree with you on that defense. You think they have a top notch defense? I don't think cover three is going to work in this league. So I think you should just shove that out the window and um, start working on your defense for week one and switch it up. Otherwise, the Cardinals would score a lot more than 30. But I'm going to be nice and leave it at 30 to 18 with the Cardinals. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the Seahawks are probably the most talented team ever not to make the playoffs last year. Yeah, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, and I think that has to do with their coach. And I think Jesse Ortiz, <laughs> he just doesn't know what he's doing. I mean, Ruben, Ruben, he's trying to reinvent the wheel here. You know, they changed the blocking rules. Now you can't even, you know, move downfield. He still wants to send his receivers out there to, to block. block. So I think that's what he said he got yeah, from Chip team, Kelly. Right? Yeah, he team. said he got from Chip Kelly. He wanted the tall receivers so they can go out there and block right. for their uh, – Not even used to hype. What, he got, like now. three running backs? Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know how many running backs he got there. I think he has a three running back formation there with a quarterback. I told him that's illegal. He does not listen. Yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think he might be single-handedly. Uh, I hope Taekwon takes the reins because I think he can definitely hurt that team again coming into this year. Uh, and uh, and the Cardinals, the Cardinals, I'm impressed uh, from what I've seen so far from the Cardinals this year. Now their quarterback came to this preseason. I don't know how old he is. I don't know what, but I've just seen some good things. Uh, and, and I think Musa is going to have yes. a big year. Might be the best quarterback ever to play for the Cardinals. Definitely, I, I agree you agree? Yeah, he, he's just a natural. He looks, looks like, like a natural he's 25 quarterback. years old. He looks like he's 25. I mean, I thought we had Mariota coming out just yeah. kind of playing with the kids. 
But uh, if but he, he said he's he, legal. If he's that good, they could be um, top fourteen. Uh, they could, yeah, they could definitely. Mm. I mean, because you, you got to think about some of the other players that they have, they have the Dimitri the on their team and also Dante, who's kind of like their Darren Sproles uh, for the Cardinals. Uh, you know, but they're going to need some other players to, to, to step up. If, if Camus can step up uh, and uh, and be a, you know, a leader and take it real serious on his team, I believe they have what it takes to be a top four team in this league. And that's why I got them winning this game. Besides them and Ortiz finding some way to lose with that talent, I got them winning 20 to 19. Mm. Wow, that's impressive. And you talked about the coaches. Now, on one side of the field, you got the Cardinals, you got Cornell, Kenny, and they have a new coach. <clears throat> um, but you're going to see a good mesh with them. And then you talk about the other side, the Seahawks, where you have Ruben, Jesse, and Taekwon. And I think that both of them are very strong-willed mm. coaches. And throughout the season, we might see some blows over there. Because mm. one's going to be, you know, one's running the offense, the other one's running defense, and we're going to see some switching. You know, like the movie, Remember the Titans? Yeah. <laughs> where the coach is like, where the coach is saying, you take care of your defense, coach. <laughs> you know, I think that's what we're going to yeah. see sometime this week with this, uh, this season with the Seahawks. Mm. Hey, so that's going to do it for uh, Team Hotel TV Football Edition 2015. Make sure, make sure you have your tickets because this week it's going to be some upsets and some awesome games. Make sure you memorize your verses and quotes.